Welcome to Saturday Night Vespers for the Feast of Pentecost. Fifty days following our Lord's resurrection, we celebrate today the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples. Glad you are joining us, and please pray together with us. God, cleanse me, sir, have mercy upon me. God, cleanse me, sir, have mercy upon me. God, cleanse me, sir, have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers, you set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered with a deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appoint for them. You set a bound which they should not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have the habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nest, or stalk has a home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is a sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships in Leviathan, which you form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O oh God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O oh God. In peace, <clears throat> let us pray to the Lord. Da, 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 da. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who desire to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan teak on all companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocese and Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. <clears throat> Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O oh my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, 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 now and ever and on to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, 
Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours are the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. In the first tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, receive the voice of my prayer. When I call upon you, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. soul out of prison and I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. <clears throat> we celebrate the feast of Pentecost and the coming of the Spirit, the appointed day of the promise, the fulfillment of hope. How majestic and great is the mystery. Therefore we cry aloud to you. Glory to you, O Lord and Creator of all. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. You renewed your disciples, O Christ, by giving them the gift of foreign tongues that through them they might preach of you the immortal word and God, who gives great mercy to our souls. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with you. The Holy Spirit provides all things. He pours forth prophecies. He leads priests to perfection. He teaches unschooled people wisdom. He reveals fishermen as they theologians. He confirms the church. O oh, comfort her, one in essence and enthroned with the Father and the Son. Glory to you. For your name's sake, I have waited for you, O oh Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. We have seen the true light. We have received a heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity who has saved us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch at Israel, hope on the Lord. In the prophets, O oh, our Savior, you proclaim to us a way of salvation. In the apostles, the grace of your Spirit shone forth from the beginning and ever after. You are God, our God before the ages. Oh, the Lord, there is mercy with him as plenteous redemption. And he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. In, In your courts I will praise you, the Savior of the world. On bended knee I will worship your invincible might. In the evening, in the morning, and at noon time, at all times I will bless you, O Lord. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all peoples. In your courts, O Lord, we faithful bend the knees of soul and body. With songs we proclaim you, O Eternal Father and Co-Eternal Son, and O Holy and Co-Eternal Spirit, who sanctifies and enlightens our souls. 
for his mercy is abundant towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Let us praise his song, the consubstantial trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For this was the preaching of all the prophets, apostles, and martyrs. In the eighth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Come, O people, let us worship the Godhead in three persons the Son and the Father with the Holy Spirit. For the Father timelessly begot the Son, co-eternal and co-enthroned with Him. And the Holy Spirit was in the Father and is glorified with the Son. We worship one power, one essence, one Godhead. And we say, Holy God, who created all things through your Son, with the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, Holy Mighty, through whom we know the Father, and through whom the Holy Spirit came to dwell in the world, Holy and mortal, comforting Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and rests in the Son. O Holy Trinity, glory to you. <coughs> o gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and see the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me, it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God and Giver of Life, therefore, O the world, glorifies you. Let us attend. Peace be unto all. Wisdom, the evening, Prochemenon is in the sixth tone. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. <clears throat> the Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, He is girded with strength. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. His throne is established from of old. He is from everlasting. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The floods have lifted up. O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods have lifted up their roaring. The Lord is King. He is robed. Mightier than the thunder of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are very sure, holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Wisdom, let us attend. The reading is from the book of Numbers, 
Let us be attentive. At the time the Lord said to Moses, Gather to me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and officers over them, and bring them to the tabernacle of meeting, that they may stand there with you. Then I will come down and talk with you there. I will take of the spirit that is upon you, and will put the same upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with you, that you may not bear it yourself alone. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tabernacle. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him, and took of the spirit that was upon him, and placed the same upon the seventy elders. And it happened when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied, although they never did so again. But two men had remained in the camp. The name of one was Eldad, and the name of the other Medad, and the Spirit rested upon them. Now they were among those listed, but who had not gone out to the tabernacle, yet they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. So Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, one of his choice men answered and said, Moses, my Lord, forbid them. Then Moses said to him, Are you zealous for my sake? O oh, all that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Wisdom, the reading is from the prophecy of Joel. Let us be attentive. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain faithfully, and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. The threshing floor shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with new wine and oil. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass, that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. Wisdom. The reading is from Ezekiel. Let us be attentive. I will take from you from all among the nations, gather you out of all countries, and bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. Then you shall dwell in the land that I have given to your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, <laughs> Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Teak on law companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the martyred Archpriest Nicholas, the Archpriest Paul, Matryoshka, Nina, the servants of God, Alan, Jasmine, Stephen, George, Annabelle, Huda, Jennifer, and Peggy, and who hear and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, all those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those in need of prayer and sick and suffering, for the Archpriest John, the Archpriest John, for the Priest James, Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, and Macrina, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, James, and Marie, those known to be suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Olga, Carol, Ann, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Arcady, Michael, and Natalie, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works and are holding our venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, Almighty Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them, and our military reserves supporting them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Now safe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. 
Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, O despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages, ages, amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. That we may complete remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, aimless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord, you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto you. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge who yet loves mankind, had your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The nations did not know the power of the Holy Spirit, which came upon your apostles, O Lord. So they mistook the foreign tongues for drunkenness, but we are strengthened by the apostles. So we ceaselessly pray to you, O good God, who loves mankind. Take not your Holy Spirit from us. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The coming of the Holy Spirit Fill your apostles, O Lord, and made them speak in foreign tongues. To the faithless this wonder was but drunkenness, but to the faithful it brings salvation. We pray to you, O good God, who loves mankind, make us worthy of such enlightenment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. O oh, heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasure me of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. In the eighth tongue, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the
of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the arrogance of building the tower in the days of old, led to the confusion of tongues. But now the glory of the knowledge of God brings them wisdom. There God condemned the impious for their transgressions. Here Christ has enlightened the fishermen by the Spirit. Their disharmony was brought about for punishment. Now harmony is renewed for the salvation of our souls. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of your people is Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, grant us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, Christ our God. You have revealed the fishermen as most wise by sending down upon them the Holy Spirit. And through them you drew the world into your net. O love of men, glory to you. Wisdom. Christ our God, the existing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Preserve, O God, the holy orthodox faith and orthodox Christians. Unto ages of ages, those holy Theotokos save us, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word, true Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who sent his Holy Spirit as born in the form of tongues of fire upon his disciples for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Amen. Joyous feast day, Sprasnikum, Kronia Pala, on this the feast of the gift of Pentecost, the, form, the tongues of fire that lit upon the disciples that we celebrate today. I just want to again uh, offer the words of the 
uh, prophecy from Ezekiel tonight for us to reflect on as we prepare for our services in the morning. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Then you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Brothers and sisters, we are renewed on this feast, the feast of the birthday of the church, of the disciples receiving the Holy Spirit and going out into all the world. Let us be renewed in the Spirit, even in the midst of the struggle of these days with the coronavirus, and now with the violence that has erupted uh, in the George Floyd's death, in the aftermath, let us be renewed in the spirit. Let us be renewed in our faith. Let us be renewed in our love for our God who sent his son to us and now sends us the Holy Spirit that we truly may be his people and he truly may be our God and we may be renewed in our spirit and in the flesh and in our heart. Always, now, and ever, and in the ages of ages, amen. Joyous feast day. Tomorrow morning we'll celebrate the uh, Obednissa, followed immediately by Kneeling Vespers. The text can be found on our website, so we look forward to uh, having you join us in the morning. Da, 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 da. Blessed are you, O Christ our God, who has revealed the fishermen as most wise, by sending down upon them the Holy Spirit. Through them you drew the world into your net, all of the earth and glory to you. Joyous feast day.